Welcome friends to Bonnie's Books. Today we're going to celebrate Easter because guess what this Sunday is? It's Easter! So yay! Okay, so oh, first I want to ask you, what do you do on Easter to celebrate Easter? I know some people, they do Easter egg hunts. I remember we do Easter egg hunts. We also do clues to find the basket, which is so much fun. Um, and then what else do we do? Do you go to Easter egg hunts or do you have Easter egg hunts at home? Um, we've actually done both. Um, we used to have them at the library, but since COVID started, we can't really do that, which I'm so sad about that. Um, then some people go to church. Um, some people have big dinners, big gatherings. So, I mean, I know it's all going to look somewhat different because of COVID, but yeah, we still get to celebrate. So today we are going to celebrate by first singing a song about Easter eggs. And it is to the tune of Jingle Bells. So it goes, Easter eggs, Easter eggs of yellow and blue. Here are lots of colored eggs, all for me and you. Chocolate eggs, colored brown, jelly beans, bright green. Aren't these the nicest eggs that you've ever seen? Let's try that one more time. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, eggs of yellow and blue. Here are lots of colored eggs, all for me and you. Chocolate eggs, colored brown, jelly beans, bright green. Aren't these the nicest eggs that you've ever seen? Oh, and dying eggs. That's also a fun thing to do at Easter. See, there are so many things. And, and all the different flowers that are coming up. It's, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. My, my husband likes the bright green grass. He, he thinks that's really cool too. Okay. Now we're going to do a finger play. Here's the bunny. Okay. Here's the bunny with They're So Funny. And here is the hole in the ground. At the first sound he hears, he pricks up his ears and hops in the hole in the ground. Wanna do that again? Here we go. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is a hole in the ground. See the hole? At the first sound he hears, he pricks up his ears and hops in the hole in the ground. He's scared. That's how they protect themselves. Okay, now we couldn't do Easter songs without doing an old favorite, and this is dating me, actually. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy baskets full of Easter joy. Hippity hoppity, happy Easter day. All right. Yay. I hope you really do have a happy Easter day. Now we're going to enjoy some books. And you know, I love Little Critter. So we're going to do It's Easter Little Critter by Mercer Mayer. Wake up, little sister, I shouted. It's Easter. Mom and Dad, we ran downstairs. The Easter Bunny brought us baskets. What a big surprise. Now I see a flap here. It was a real bunny. Little sister named him Egg. So I said, Happy Easter, Egg. After breakfast, little sister and I helped make an Easter basket for grandma and grandpa. I tasted the, I tested the jelly beans. Well, actually he tested and tasted the jelly beans to make sure they were okay. And then I made a special card for Graham. Egg wiggled his nose because he thought my card was funny. See Egg looking at the Easter card.
Then we put on our brand new Easter outfits. I got dressed all by myself. I even did my tie just like my dad. Aww. When we got to Grandma and Grandpa's house, we decorated Easter eggs. I'm going to make a special Easter egg just for you, Grandpa. I held the egg really carefully, but eggs are kind of slippery, you know. They really are. They're slippery, especially when you're trying to dye them. Sometimes they plop. Coloring Easter eggs is fun. Looks like they plopped on Little Critter, too, didn't they? Sometimes that happens. That's actually happened at my house more than a few times. <laughs> Finally, it was time. May the great Easter egg hunt begin, Grandpa yelled. Little sister found the most Easter eggs. Uh-oh. Does little critter look happy? Hmm. But I found the most special egg of all. Hi, little chicky. Aw, he found a little chicken. I realized I hadn't seen my bunny in a while. Where's egg? Everyone looked all over for the egg, but we couldn't find him anywhere. Finally, I found him. Where did he find it? Let's see. He had made a new bunny friend. Aw, look, he did. Isn't that neat? Yay. Yay for egg. Then we all sat down to Easter dinner. Happy Easter, everyone. I said it was the most fun Easter yet. Egg is running around with his friends and they're eating Easter dinner. That was a good book. Okay, now we're gonna read Easter Engines because Thomas is another favorite with my friends. Easter Engines. It is Easter morning. James, Percy, and Thomas are being watched for the Easter parade. <gasps> That's another thing we do for Easter. We are bright and shiny like Easter eggs, says James. James is the red engine. Thomas is happy. He will lead the parade. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hat arrives. He has an important job for Thomas. I wonder what it could be. Thomas must go to McCall's farm. He must get an Easter egg. Thomas will do the job. Then he will race back to the parade. Thomas zooms down the track. He sees McCall's farm. Thomas stops at the farm. He is surprised. The egg is very shiny. It is also very big. Look how big that egg is. Have you ever seen an egg so big? Wow. It is the biggest egg in the world, says Thomas. Terence tells Thomas to be careful. He tells Thomas not to break the egg. Chug, chug. Thomas rolls slowly up the track. He is very careful. He does not want to break the egg. The egg shakes and wobbles. It does not fall. Quack! Quack! Thomas stops. He lets the ducks cross the track. Thomas reaches the parade. It is almost over. Thomas is not the first engine in the parade. He is the last engine. But the children cheer for Thomas. The children cheer for the giant egg. The parade is over. How did the egg get so big? Asked Thomas. Sir Topham Hat chuckles. The egg is not real. Thomas, it's made of paper. Rip! Rip! Sir Topham Hat opens the egg and it is full of Easter baskets. Well, that is so neat.
eat. One child gives Thomas a basket. Thomas is very happy. The children love their baskets and they thank Thomas. We are like sh big shiny eggs, Jamie says to Thomas. But you are like a big Easter bunny, says Percy. Percy's the green engine. Happy Easter, says Thomas. Okay, we have one more book. And I love this author. Her name is Janet Morgan Stoke. And she does Minerva Louise. Now, Minerva Louise, she's just funny. So, this one is Minerva Louise and the Colorful Eggs. You'll see why I think it's funny. Minerva Louise loved the springtime. With all the colors, the farmyard looked fresh and bright. The apple trees looked so beautiful, all in bloom. And so did the farmers. Hmm, maybe I'd look pretty too if I put on a hat, said Minerva Louise. Hey, who put an egg in my hat? You poor thing, where is your mother? Minerva Louise warmed up the egg with her fluffy feathers. Then she looked around. She couldn't find its mother anywhere, but she did find another egg. She worried it might fall. She also worried that she might fall. See, she's trying to warm up the egg. Some hen is forgetting her egg, said Minerva Louise. And I can't warm all of them by myself. She ran to the barn to tell her friends. Look, she said, I'm finding eggs outside and some of them are so cold, they're turning blue. The hens grumbled at being woken up, but they were curious. No one had seen blue eggs before. They went out to look for the eggs, but they were all gone. Hmm. Where did the eggs go? asked Minerva Louise. But the little brown bunny didn't seem to know, and she couldn't get an answer from the baby chicks either. Do you see the baby chicks? Wait, look up there, it was an egg. But this one had spots and, and green stripes. And then all of a sudden it was gone. A little hand had snatched it up. There were farmers all around running and laughing and picking up eggs. The hens felt better. They were used to the farmers picking up the eggs. They went back to the hen house for a nap. But not Minerva Louise. She had found the perfect nest. Isn't that such a good story? I love that. Okay, now. We are going to do a craft, and the craft is a bunny, like the Easter bunny. All you need is a brown paper bag, tin and pink cardstock, googly eyes, a brown marker, and some glue. And you can just make your own bunny puppet. And that way, you can hide Easter eggs. Until next time, you guys have a very good week, and happy Easter.